This is a case of Patricia Webb by the liabilities. Patricia Webb was a 43-year-old woman who worked as a global payroll manager for Black & Veatch. She embezzled more than $300,000 and the embezzlement took place over seven months. The embezzlement was conducted by making unauthorized wire transfers and automated clearinghouse transactions to her business account through the Black & Veatch payroll account. She covered her tracks by altering the direct deposit information of the company's employees who were deceased or based overseas. The embezzlement was discovered on March 4, 2016, and legal charges were filed March 15, 2016. No legal actions have been taken against Patricia Webb because the case is still under investigation. Here are our internal controls. The first one is establishment of responsibility. Patricia Webb was global payroll manager at Black & Veatch, and that was her only task. This establishes responsibility by placing her in charge of only one task. When questionable transactions were brought to the attention of the company, they knew who to go to for these accounts. About the segregation of duties, as global payroll manager, she was responsible for managing payroll accounts. She was in charge of maintaining all aspects of those payroll accounts. Since Black and Beach didn't assign accountants to handle other related aspects of these accounts, she was allowed it to manipulate documents. And about the document documentation procedure. Patricia Webb allegedly made six and authorized transfer into accounts of a business she had previously established. When questioned, she told them that it was an overseas client who requested the payment be deposited to his wife's account. And the trouble was set in motion due to the fact that Black and Rich didn't have other accounting documentation to prove if Webb's statement is true or not. Independent internal verification, the unauthorized transactions were allowed due to the fact that the transaction processed by Audit Scott one verified by her superior before they were authorized. Within the time she was employed at Black and Beach, her work was never reviewed by another employee for discrepancies. Human resource controls. Before Black and Beach's case, Webb was found guilty of two counts of forgery when working for a previous employer. The problem is that the Human Resource Department of Black and Beach didn't do background check of Webb or they would have found her prior conviction. Physical controls. Patricia Webb was able to embezzle money through an authorized wire transaction by altering direct deposit information on Black and Beach employees who, who were deceased or based overseas. They failed to have physical control because they didn't have a system in place to verify employee direct deposit information and flag errors. This allows any employee to do as Patricia Webb and their information for physical gain. To avoid this embezzlement, they could have done pre numbering documents to track, track them better, and they could have required original detailed official receipt for all financial transactions. And also, um, Human Resource Department should have background check. 
they should have all they should have always looked them up by company itself just say conduct checks with previous job references. And they could have provided a security system that they can track their transactions. And also they should have required two employees to unauthorized transaction over one thousand dollars. Thank you for listening. <coughs>